Hi guys, Jeremy Nat here. I'm down in the basement and I'm fixing to make a repair on my youngest son's YDD saber. He tends to be a little more abusive with his lightsaber, so the problem we had is he the battery actually became disconnected. I got the chassis already out of the hilt. It's got this circuit board right through here. You got your LED with the heat sink. You got your on off switch, your recharge port, your, your both of your screw down connections to the hilt, various electronic components, and then your speaker at the bottom. But what we're focusing on today is right here, these two points right here, your positive and your negative connections for your battery. There we go. So you can see the B negative and the B positive right there. So I'm going to be soldering the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. This is brought to you by Mike's Jerky. Yeah! Pineapple habanero. Let's see what it tastes like. Normal programming. Let's start out with the negative. Try to solder this where I can run the wire straight through. Right now, I got the negative soldered. Let me focus that in. So I got the negative soldered down, and now I'll just solder down the positive. All right, let's test this out. Flip it over, it should fire up. So now I just need to cut a piece of double-sided foam tape to bond the battery back to the, the circuit board for the YDD saver. So I got some 3mm automotive tape. I know, not in the best shape. It's been sitting in the bottom of a toolbox for, for years. Let's cut it with a razor knife. Right about here, so like the need. Always try to cut away from yourself. Catches, try not to get the double side, double stick foam tape stuck to itself. Now, this piece is just a little longer than what I need. But I might do with what I got. So, get the stick to the back side of the battery real good. Now the battery, I've already cleaned up some with some isopropyl alcohol taking the old foam tape off. So just trimmed off the bottom piece of foam tape off of the battery and now just gotta peel off of this layer there backing on the foam tape here. Which sometimes can be a little bit of a booger. So now just gotta line this up, making it so it's 
nice and slow. Wait. I help if I put it on the right side. All right. So here we go. Gonna try to twist this around once so the wiring for the battery stays up top. So line it up. The battery matches up and everything, so it's gonna fit nice and snug inside of the YDD saber. And I'm just taping this down. And you're kind of using the foam tape to keep it so the battery wires don't cross. That way you don't have any funny connections. So, oh, that's stuck to circuit board. Now we can put it right back into the lightsaber. It is now the time for the shameless plug. Yes, the shameless plug. So if you guys have not yet liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any friends that would like any of our videos, feel free to share it with them. So here's the hilt. Start with at the bottom of the hilt where you attach the pommel and then make sure your wires are inside the heat sink. See there's a little groove in the heat sink where your wires go, both the black and the red on either side. And then you start sliding this down from the bottom of the hilt. Just take your time and watch your wires. Just had to Adjust the wires a little bit for the battery, make sure they didn't catch on anything. And just slowly slide it down. This is where where you gotta be a little careful with it. You just gotta hold this, pull this back a little bit to make it flex to get get you gotta get the recharge port underneath right here. So slide it down. second I got it twisted a hair so I'm gonna just give this a little slide all right so I got the recharge poured in and now just getting this in place where I can get the switch lined up so now I got the recharge port lined up and the on off switch now I just gotta put in the two chassis mounting screws right here so got one for the bottom start that one line one up for the top start it and this will as you screw this in it'll start sucking in your switch so now your switch is closer to the surface Here we go. Hello guys, interested in some beef jerky? Try some Mike's beef jerky. It is habanero pineapple. Delicious. I must warn ya. It'll snake up on ya. Mmm. Not too shabby. Unless you got a stomach of a vulture. And now we resume normal programming. Now I'm gonna take the speaker, line it up in the bottom. And you got the pommel. It's got a little rubber grommet or gasket, whatever you want to call it, O-ring with some mesh below it. And that's just to mainly hold the speaker in place. So tighten that down. All right, this is starting to look better. Now, the fun part. I'm gonna start with the bottom set screw here. So, this is the one that actually holds the LED heat sink and projector in place. 
so you can kind of skip have to push down and center the LED and then start screwing this in. Get it nice and snug. And then the last step is getting these two other screws in place. middle one and then the top and these are just to hold your blade get them a little bit started and then we'll put the blade on this thing all right and so I got a YDD Saber blade and I'll line this thing up see where I had these screwed down before Tightening the top one, and now I'm topping, tightening down the, the middle set screw. So these two will hold the blade nicely in place. So here we go. So Evan's lightsaber is fixed. This isn't too hard of a repair. It took a little while to take it apart, a little while to put it back together, and it was just soldering those two wires back to the circuit board. And now it works. It works great again. Later, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.